So we're going to do a playthrough of Robot Lab, the card game. So in Robot Lab, you're trying to build a robot. You want to be the first scientist to complete your robot. And the first thing you do is you have to pick which robot body that you want. So uh, your, your playthrough uh, participants for this are going to be Adam. I'm the designer of the game. And Chris. He is, one of all, he is also a designer of the game. Correct. And our development team. So... Uh, first thing we do is, Chris, why don't you go and pick which color robot you want to play as? I'm going to play orange. All right, I'm going to take green, because I love the green robot. So, so the first player of the game is going to get three cards, so I'm going to go ahead and give Chris three cards to go first. Second player of the game gets five cards, and the reason for that is to be sure that the first person who goes doesn't have as big a card advantage as the second person to go. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and play a normal game of Robot Lab. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to start by playing Reboot, which lets me scrap all the cards in my hand and draw five new cards. I may attach a part this turn. If I do, I skip my discard and draw phases. So all right, I will go for scrap it. my hand, draw five. Reboot it up. And I can attach a part, but I am not going to, so I'm going to discard a blue head and draw one more card to go up to five. All right. So, it's my turn here, and show the camera here. That's a great hand, right? I don't know if you guys can tell what that is, but they're all the same thing, just completely different colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and put an orange, or sorry, a green leg on my robot, and then I can only discard multiples that are the same color. They're not the same color. I don't want to discard the orange one, because that might help him. So, I'll discard this purple, and I will draw two to get back to five. All right. Go ahead, sir. I am going to give you a red arm. Because Thanks. You know, always need a run. Um, I'm going to then Move my robot um, a bit. choose not to discard and draw one card. No discards, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm going to play a green arm, discard two blues, and draw three. <coughs> Go ahead. All sir. right. I'm going to give you a blue leg. All right. Choose again not to discard and draw one card. All right. I am going to give you a red leg, discard this orange leg, and end this reboot. Because you can always discard action cards with any other colors. They're like wilds for discard. And I'll draw three. All right. All right. I'm going to play Dig in the Trash. Get my orange leg, and since Adam has more parts than me, I can put it on my robot. Yes, you can play it immediately. And then I will choose again not to discard, and I'll draw one card. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and play my head. Now you'll notice I have five parts, but two of them are off color. So I get rid of those first. And then I'll just discard this blue arm, and I will draw two. All right. I'm going to play Dig in the Trash one more time. Man, you really here. like the trash. Yeah. I'm going to find Robot Research. And the card says that I can play this immediately if uh, a player has more parts than me. So I'm going to play it immediately. So Robot Research lets me take the top seven cards of the lab and... Reveal them. <coughs> and I'm going to choose to attach Ooh. one part to my robot or put one card in my hand. So I'll choose to attach the orange head to my robot. They trash the rest of those? And then trash the rest of these. Nice. All right. And then I will go to my discard step. Oh, are you actually discard something this time? I'm going to discard a purple leg and draw two cards. All right. I am... I have nothing that can... Alright, I'm just going to discard these two orange and draw two. And then I'm done. Alright, I'm going to... I'm just going to discard a green leg and draw a card. I'm going to give you a purple arm. Alright. And discard a red leg and draw two. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play Malfunction. All right, so Malfunction um, is one of two cards that can remove parts from robots. So this one says, players with the most parts scrap a part from your robot. So 
Anyone who has the most parts has to remove a part from the robot and put it in the trash. Now that affects all players that have the most parts, even if they're tied. In a two-player game, that doesn't come into play too often. But in a multiplayer game, it can be really devastating. So he's going to let me scrap a part, so I'm going to go ahead and scrap this red arm because I don't need it anyway. Because I had the most parts. All right, and then I'm also going to play Malfunction again. So... Because these are bonus actions, he can do as many of them as he wants, and he can do them during any player's turn. So he's playing my function again. I'm going to scrap this blue leg. I'm going to scrap this red leg. And then, um, since I still can play a card, I'm going to give Adam a red leg. Oh, thanks. And I'm going to draw three cards. All right. I am going to play a green arm, discard an orange arm, and draw two. I'll play an orange arm on my robot, discard a red head, and draw two cards. Nice. Alright, I'm going to give you a green leg, and then I'm going to discard this blue arm, and it will draw two. I am done, sir. Alright. I am going to play Dig in the Trash, and I'm going to find... So dig in the trash was mentioned earlier, but he can choose any card from the trash and put it into his hand. He may play it immediately if any player has more parts than him. Okay, well, I'm going to get Malfunction, and I am going to discard a purple arm and draw one card. All right. I am going to... I'm going to discard. I'm just going to discard. I'm going to discard two greens and draw two cards. All right. I'm done. I am going to play robot research. So I'm going to look at the top seven again. I can attach a part to my robot or put one in my hand. The any part. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so... That's seven. There's some good choices all right. there. All right, so um, use robot research, top seven. I'm actually going to take this malfunction, and I'm going to put the rest in the trash. And then I will play malfunction. Ooh. And I will get rid of like this that. purple arm. And then I'm actually going to play Malfunction again. No! So I can get rid of this green <laughs> leg as well. I don't want to lose another part. <laughs> um, I guess I will lose... I guess I'll lose this arm. All right. And then I am going to draw two cards. All right. I am going to replace that lost arm with a nice rainbow arm. <laughs> Error. Oh, so that rainbow right, so arm is going to go is, in the trash. This is the first time you're seeing this one. This is error. It says stop any action or part card from being played. Stop. Scrap that card. So he's stopping that from happening. I've been aired. I'm just going to discard these two purple parts that nobody needs and draw three. All right. I am going to play a leg on my robot. Nice. All right. And I'm actually going to discard... An orange head and a reboot that I don't need, and draw three cards or draw four cards. Cool. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to give you a blue arm. No. And then I'm going to discard this orange head, and then I will draw two. All Go right. ahead, sir. I'm actually going to, I can't play anything, so I'm going to discard the rainbow head and this green head and draw two cards. Alright, I'm going to play a leg, discard a head, and draw two. Alright, uh, let's see here. I'm going to play robot research again. Alrighty. So look at the top seven. So, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, we ran out of cards, so we'll have to shuffle up the trash. So once the lab runs out of cards, and you are forced to draw a card from the lab, then you take the trash, you pick it up, you shuffle it up, and it becomes the new lab. Okay, so 
go ahead and shuffle it up and replace the lab with the old trash here and finish the robot research so I need two more cards so one two okay so um I can take anything and put it in my hand. Yeah, because so. your robot's all full up. My robot's full. I don't need another leg. But I guess I can take this red arm. I like it. And then I'm going to go to my discard step. And I'll discard the red arm and a red head. Cool. And draw two. All right. I am going to play Dig in the Trash. So I'm going to choose any card in the trash, which I'm going to choose this wonderful green arm. And since you have more parts than me, I can play it immediately. So I will play it immediately. And I can air oh! you placing that part on your robot. All right. So he aired me again. Lose my arm again. And then I will discard this red arm, and I will draw two. Right. Go ahead, sir. Not much I can do here, so I'm going to... Just start a green head and draw two cards. All right, I'm going to discard these two oranges and draw two cards. All right, I am going to give you a blue arm. I don't want a blue arm. <laughs> well, you're dag right. nabbit. And then I'll discard a purple head and draw two. All right, I am going to. Dig in the trash for that green arm I need. I can't play it immediately, but at least I can get it in my hand. Then I'm going to discard this purple arm and draw one. All right. I am going to play reboot again, so I will scrap all the cards in my hand. Alrighty. And then draw five new cards. One, two, three, four, five. And I can attach a part, but I don't have a part to attach. So I will discard two purple parts and draw two more cards. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to start by playing Disassemble. So players with the most... This is Disassemble. Players with the most parts detach a part from their robot. So that means put back in your All hand. All right. So I'm going to attach this blue arm. And then I'm going to play my green arm for the win. Okay, at this so, point... At this point... He can respond to me playing that with any bonus action card. Because they can be played at any time, right? So, do we bonus action cards? I do not. I have a handful of parts. Oh, I actually did have I had another bonus action card. It is simple. But I'm not going to use it on myself. So, that's it. So, I won this game Robot Lab. My robot has five parts. You'll notice that one of them is not the same color as my robot. It's a rainbow leg. There are four rainbow parts in the deck. Just to give you an extra chance to find your own part. So, that's Robot Lab. Thanks for watching. There's one quick thing I wanted to cover, just to be sure that you know there's no confusion about how the game works. So we showed you what a two-player game looks like. A three-player game you would set up similar to this. Once again, the other robot bodies, the purple and the blue one, you just put those to the side. You don't need them if you're only playing three players. And the way this would go is first player would get three cards, second player would get four cards, and then the fifth, the uh, third player would get five cards. So that's the only difference. If this game was to say add a fourth player to it, so I guess I'm gonna put that there somewhere. That person would also get four cards to start the game. And if we're gonna go for a full five players in a game, you would use all the robot bodies, all the colors, and then that person would also get four. So the way the first turn works is first player to go gets three, the rest of the players get four, except for the last one, which gets five. The reason we do that is it's a way to even out the game in the first turn. Um, the other part of the first turn rules is that if you start your first turn with less than five cards, you actually don't get to do your discard phase. Remember there's build, discard, and draw? Well, you skip your discard phase only on turn one if you start with less than five cards. That's to make sure the person who's in the fifth place by the time it gets around to them, everyone else hasn't gone through half the deck or 20 cards, 20, 30 cards. They've only gone through enough for their opening hand size and then filling up their opening hand size. So, so yeah, you go take, 
play will go on the table just like that. Anybody can play on anybody else's robot. So, for instance, this is first player. I'm going to play this orange leg in somebody. I've got plenty of choices who I want to play it in. So, that's how it works. Thanks.